So where are you today, everybody? I'm glad to have received so many messages from so many of you. Today, um, I'm gonna talk about the mindset. Have you ever met someone that you come into a conversation and they know everything about everything and they have what seems to be their cup their cup seems to be full and uh, they have no more space for no more information because when you say something they know that something when you mention a particular this or that they know a convert a conversationalist of sorts someone who says yes of course i know that let me teach you about it of course yes what you just told me i was familiar with let me teach you about that as well and the surprising thing is that because of that because they know everything the conversation becomes short. It becomes about them, not about the relationship. There's a certain level of humility in someone that can say, you know, I might have heard about that, but can you give me your perspective? You know, I know about this, but can you give me your perspective? There's a certain level of humility when people say, people that are intelligent people, people who are on a journey of betterment can say, you know, I might know that, but that's my perspective. How about if you give me yours? Have you encountered somebody that you know they're a know-it-all? You know that no one wants to approach them because they simply know everything there is to be known about life. You mention about politics and they know. You talk about supplements and medicine and they know. You talk about different cultures and they know. You talk about everything and they know. And they never stay quiet. And what they want to do is tell everybody that they encounter what they know. When we feel like we know everything about everything, we miss the opportunity to see somebody else's perspective. Today, I sit here with uh, my guide dog, Oki, who is here, right there, everybody. The most incredible example of humility and the most incredible example of just willingness to forgive and be there at our sides. This dog, which I'm putting in front of the camera right now, he's probably looking over there. I can see he's turning his face. This dog is an example of humility. Um, he, he, they don't have a voice. They can't say, I know this. Oh, I know that. Oh, what you told me, I already knew. Oh, I was aware of that. Oh, I knew this. They are just there to listen. So if you've got two ears, two ears to listen and one mouth to talk, why are you doing so much yapping? <laughs> let's have fun everybody let's take today as an opportunity as a day that matters let's take today and say you know what I'm going to listen more and talk less because when we listen more we have we gain the opportunity to learn and understand perhaps we can learn something today instead of teach have you ever thought about that? Can you be like this dog that says, you know what? I can't talk. But I can listen. And I think it was Daryl Davis who said, as long as we're listening and talking to each other 
and listening to each other. Many wars, conflicts, issues, problems can be averted. Isn't that true? That while we're doing much more listening, many wars, many difficulties, many challenges can be averted. Have a great day, everybody. As a Zen master said once, make sure that your cup is empty so that you can fill it every single day of your life. Make humility your goal for the rest of your life.